Tommy, and today I will be one of your hosts. The Amazon is an amazing re rainforest, teeming with wildlife. The area of this fantastic rainforest is an incredulous 5,500,000 kilometers squared. So, it's not a surprise that one in ten species in the entire world live right here in the Amazon. Not, not here in this particular spot, not literally, but I mean like metaphorically, all over the Amazon. This includes insects, mammals, birds, fish, reptiles, and amphibians. So let's take a deeper and closer understanding into the Amazon. Charlie, and I'm your second host for today. I'm here to talk about the Amazon River, home to thousands of species on land and in water. This is known as the heart of wildlife here in the rainforest. One of the most important ones is the green anaconda, who rests in the shallow waters of the river with only his nostrils outside. Unfortunately, we have not yet been lucky enough to meet one of these creatures today. What is that I hear? It's the green anaconda! Woo! This beast, who can grow up to 6.6 .6 meters long, crushes its prey. Actually, it constricts its prey to death. We don't want to disturb it. Disturb it. So let's move on to the next because we've also sighted a green tree frog. Frogs of the rainforest are very different to frogs, temperate frogs, because these frogs lay their eggs outside of water in vegetation or ground. By leaving the water, they avoid predators such as shrimp or other big fish. It's related to the pineapple plant and it has waxy flowers. These plants are basically ecosystems in themselves because the creepy crawlies come inside to live here inside the actual plant. One bromeliad is actually known to have three beetles, crane flies, earwigs, a frog, a cockroach, a spider, a millipede, a scorpion, wood lice, and an earthworm. And say an insect then the Camellia takes it into its own system so it has nutrients for its body. As well as this, we have the lianas, which are these amazing vines. They are very thick and they can grow up to 3,000 feet. They use suckers on their body to cool themselves up the trees as they try and reach the sunlight. Finally, we have this tree. It's called actually a buttress root because see these these are the actual roots and a buttress is where you where something leans on something else so that's where it gets it from so the tree doesn't fall over and this trunk here can soar up to 15 meters high it's amazing just like all the rest of the plants here in the Amazon this rainforest is just buzzing with insects they live on this greenery one of the big ones is the leaf cutter ant. They are primary consumers of vegetation and live in colonies up to 3 million at once. They build gigantic hills as their homes, up to 30 feet, 30 feet wide and 20 feet deep. However, even though they cut up leaves, they don't eat them. They eat the fungus inside. Another interesting insect we have here in the rainforest is the rhino beetle. Luckily, we have been able to find one hidden between the leaves. Rhino beetles start as lava and eat lots of compost and rotting wood. They can carry 850 times their own weight and they grow through three multi before adulthood. Also, the horns are not to fight predators but to fight other males, such as territorial issues, and to attract females. Nature, what a wonderful thing. Now we are looking at birds. This one, for example, is the scarlet macaw, a beautiful bird. It can live up to 40 years in the wild. It eats fruit, 
met some seeds, and he lived in the canopy of the rainbow, high up in the trees. Some of these amazing creatures can even speak, but most of them mimic. As well as this, we have this fantastic, amazing bird. Come here, little birdie. Wow. This is called the superb bird of paradise. This is actually all its feathers surrounding its head, his eyes, and his mouth. It does a dance. To it first calls to the females, and once one arrives, it dances to try and, well, attract the female. As well as this, we have another bird of paradise, and this one is called the six plume bird. As opposed to calling like the superb bird, it has obsessive compulsive disorder, like me, and it actually makes a stage where it takes leaves and excess twigs and clears them all away and begins to dance in the middle there. See these little flaps here of feather? It starts to lift them up while it dances. And that is how this bird attracts mates. All these variety of birds have their own unique ways of living. Now, as our journey comes to close, we are taking one last look at the Amazon River. The largest of all marine animals is the Amazonian manatee, a gentle giant of the Amazon River Basin. It has been known as a sea cow and because it is herbivorous and grazes on aquatic and semi-aquatic plants, much like a cow grazes on grass. It has thick skin and generally a white or pink belly patch. The adults can reach 3 meters long and up to 450 kilograms. However, they do have an unknown lifespan. They can consume 10 to 15% of their own body weight in daily vegetation and can go long periods with no food. Here are the gentle trickling of the Amazon River. But then, one of the most feared and best known fish out of four species is the red-bellied piranha. Amazon tribes use their teeth as tools and knives and in arrows when they hunt. Piranhas feed in large schools and can converge on animals as big as anacondas, manatees and birds. Also, they are attracted to the scent of blood, much like sharks. In conclusion, we believe that Ara to the rainforest was successful and that we have been able to specify in some rare animals. However, we were also able to witness the environmental conditions, which are harming the animals badly. Many species, such as the leafcutter ant, may decrease in numbers due to deforestation, and this could lead to less food for fish, birds, and reptiles. On the contrary, this has declined since 2004. So for the time being, one square kilometre of rainforest can still contain 90,790 tonnes of living plant. Hello, my name is Charlize, and I'll be your second host for today. I'm here to talk about the Amazon River, known as the heart of wildlife here in the rainforest. Hello, my name is Charlize, and I'll be your second host for tonight. I'm here to talk about the Amazon River, known as the heart of wildlife here in the rainforest. Thousands of species on land and in water <laughs> reside. My God! Look here, folks. We found a miracle. It's a cat in the Amazon.